Carmichael Auditorium in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where the Tar Heels have won 164 and lost only 20. Sold out, as always, for the start of the 1985 basketball campaign. And that happens to be Michael Jordan's foot. And it's not Air Jordan's. It's a nice-looking suit, and he's on the bench tonight. And, Billy, you said earlier that can't hurt recruiting, can it? Carolina in white with the light blue trim, and UCLA with the traditional blue and gold. And it's Haley at 6'10 against Darty at 6'11 and three quarters, and Carolina controls. The confidence, this team, UCLA, in practice, they truly work on their perimeter shooting, knowing that they're not going to overpower teams inside. Darty over Haley right in the middle. That's what we talked about at the top of the show, that these two veterans are going to have to come out here, really establish themselves early. There's a great pass inside, and the bucket goes to Popson. Bigger than any NBA front line. I know that much. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we might be able to take him on, too, Billy. Hale drive. Nice left-handed shot by Steve Hale. His first bucket. Oh, UCLA comes in here in front of another sellout crowd, playing a team that's ranked first, second, or third in all the polls, and not showing any nerves at all. The jumper by Wolf. Looking inside for Martin. Carolina so patient on offense. First two points for Warren Martin, UCLA by two. Gaines, baseline, blocked by Darling. This game, I know, with a lot of question marks about his ball club, that has to be ecstatic at this point. Well, as a coach, you'd have to get the shivers looking at that statistic. Darty, turnaround jumper, rolled it in. Two outstanding players that have played against each other in uh, different All-Star games. Jump hook by Wolf won't go, but Hale gets it back, feeds to Darty. Great play by Steve Hale. He never seems to get the credit he deserves. UCLA will push it up at every opportunity. Richards, Richardson to Gaines. And Gaines buries it. And it's 24-16. Wolf back the other way and got it. Carolina can run two in spite of their size. He was the MVP in the National Invitation Tournament a year ago. Missed. Here comes Smith for Carolina to Lebo. One out of two for Lebo. It's 24-20. Richardson moving on Lebo. Shot won't go. Doherty rebound to Smith. Both teams going with their smaller lineups now. Kenny Smith. He's a great shooter. He just doesn't shoot that much. Not looking for him to go out there and score a lot of points. He's supposed to be the leader. Here's the trap again. As soon as that ball gets to the sideline. Butler lost it. Smith to Lebo for the snowbird. Carolina needs a basket to tie. Darty, 28 all. Kenny Smith. And the Tar Heels take a 30 to 28 lead. Smith has four. Carolina working the screen down low. This is Hunter. The lead ball. Darty low in the paint. Turnaround jumper. There's no way to stop him in there, especially. Martin is in there pushing on Haley and wants the ball and has it. Got the basket. Well, UCLA has gone cold with that perimeter shot, but they're going to have to live by it tonight. Carolina now up by six. Four out of nine on the free throws, and they've really hurt themselves in the first half. Very important for them right now to keep themselves in the basketball game. Don't they? He was an 80% shooter from the line. Jumper is up and in by Kevin Madden. The first two points of his varsity career. UCLA hanging in there with 10 seconds to go in the half. Ranzino Smith. Banks it home with four seconds left. And I don't think UCLA will report to be This is Wolf. They look inside. Smith now to Doherty. A little soft turnaround jump shot, and he buries it. Wasn't a bad-looking shot by Haley, though. At the end of the year, start making those in that conference. Jumper by Joe Wolf. He has six, and the lead has increased to 10, the biggest of the ball game. Use a little bit of the clock. Have that patience. Here's Carolina with the trap and the turnover. Credit the steal to Hale. Kenny Smith has the ball against Hatcher. Missed it. Follow is good. <laughs> Ranzino Smith always looking inside as Carolina with that giant front line. Doherty turned around to over Hale, and he got it. It's one of those shots the coach is saying, hold it up, hold it up. Great shot. 12 points for Corey Gaines. Doherty right in the lane, and back 
jumps over Haley and scores. Type of shot if you're a coach and someone makes it, you just you applaud your defensive player. Hale almost got caught in the air, got it to Doherty. Tough shot, it goes, and Haley will pick up his fourth personal foul. Ball movement, great court awareness. Greg Jackson with a blind pass, cuts the lead to nine. Darty, 11 out of 11 and 23 points. UCLA trying to hang inside that 10-point lead. Hale, Martin. Uh, shooting the basketball and getting it where they want it. And the Tar Heels handle it well. Steve Hale with a fake, almost traveled the lane, puts it to the left-handed runner and got it. Two on two break, Smith, 17-footer. And the rebound of Wolf. That got to Hale, left alone. Ever be able to do that again? Will I mean, they? Yeah, well, no. And the other nice thing is these are two universities I think have their priorities in the right way. Great hook, jump hook shot. By Wolf. And a lot of people may not believe that, but uh, we've been close to these programs. You, you have to know after being around them that that's the way it is. Here is the steal. Curtis Hunter going in against Richardson. Lays it up and in. Carolina really in tempo right now. Warren Martin won't go. Kept alive and Doherty with a follow shot. Watching him when he was a freshman, he just looked like a young kid, which he was coming into the Carolina at 16 years old. But now, physically, he looks like a man out there. North Carolina three on one break. Doherty makes the basket and he is fouled by Corey Gaines. And the route may be on. Fouled intentionally in the act of shooting. That's it, whether, whether it was uh, Flager or otherwise. Well, if that's the case, it's a bad move. I agree. Kenny Smith with a jumper. It's 82 to 60. Hasn't been hitting him from the perimeter in the second half. Realized it and went in and took the ball to the basket. Hale looks inside. Wolf that jump hook and got it down. This is Hale with the basketball to Martin. Wolf. Alley-oop to Warren Martin. Put it in while he was in the air and fouled from underneath. Hale. Doherty is within a point of his career high. He has 29 tonight, 17 in the second half. Great pass by Lebo to Wolf. He doesn't look nervous or out of sorts out there with only his third year of basketball. The young man may develop. Backdoor cut Hale. Go backdoor and make the simple pass for the layup. Uh, that, that's as rewarding from a coaching standpoint as any play there is in basketball at the offensive end. Some tough luck on some he shots has. inside. And I think Walt Hazard is using this time right now to get the ball to Haley and get some experience on the offensive end. And there is Joe Wolf. Big night for Joe Wolf, too. Players in there, and they're, they're giving them this valuable experience time on the basketball court. Haley went to the bucket. Shot wouldn't go for him again. This is Bucknall to Warren Martin. Wheels into the lane. And they love it here in Chapel Hill when Warren Martin scores. No question about that. Counting down the final 40 seconds. Curtis Hunter trying to make a roll, or rather, inside the jam. Madden. The names of all the people who have been so important uh, throughout the past years and will be again this year on our ACC telecast. Zeno Smith with a running one-hander across his body. 107-70. And all the other people who have played such a big role in making ACC basketball telecasts the fine presentations that we believe they are. We thank them very much for their efforts.